Now, usually, the enemy of Kong is the Skullcrawler here, but they are going to work together today to defeat the common enemy, Godzilla. Well, Mecha Godzilla. Okay, Skullcrawler, do your thing. Attack. Oh. Oh, no. Welcome back to Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. I am once again checking out the workshop creations that you guys make. This right here is Mr. Fluffy. So this is a normal T-Rex. And uh, yeah, that's Mr. Fluffy back there. He is absolutely ginormous. And he is going up against Kong 2021. Uh, yeah, let me just remove those eyes. I placed them there. But yeah, there's his actual eyes right there. But as always, keep leaving your suggestions in the comment section down below for the future suggestions video. Start the fight. I've not actually seen these guys in action. It looks like Mr. Fluffy struggles to walk a little bit. Whoa, what was that? I think that might have been from his axe. Kong is getting messed up right now. Those teeth that Mr. Fluffy has are just insane. They will do an incredible amount of damage to Kong right now. I do love the, the Kong creation here, though. <laughs> it does look pretty funny, but he has so much armor that he might actually survive this pretty easily. Okay, they're flying in the trees right now. Yeah, these creations are going to get a lot more crazy throughout the video, as you'll see. Wow, it's actually looking like a draw. I feel like Mr. Fluffy is winning maybe by a little bit. Actually, no, he's losing. Kong might win this one, even though he's being pinned down to the floor right now. Wait, I just realized he's got tails on his tail. That looks super creepy. He looks like a squid or an octopus. Really strange. Oh, Kong has got back up. He's back in the fight, although it's not looking too good for Mr. Fluffy here. So if you are the creator of Mr. Fluffy, well, unfortunately, he's about to die by the looks of it. Here we go. Any second now. The fight's about to be over. He's got him by the arm by the looks of it. Come on. Oh, and there we go. Just like that, Mr. Fluffy is down. Now, I quickly want to see his teeth in action. How scary would that be seeing that come towards you? I don't know why this guy is running towards him like that. Oh, there it is. Oh, hang on a minute. <laughs> Okay, so I was expecting him to go inside his mouth and die. Wait, he's still, he's still alive. Fair play to him. Uh, but yeah, those front spikes caught him. And now he's dead, right? He's got to be. Oh, he got messed up. All right, let's find a tougher unit. Gary's family. You guys are all up. So we have the dog, even the new hamster as well. And of course, Gary's big brother, which I don't actually have a name for just yet. So keep leaving your suggestions. Let's start the fight. Let's see who wins this time round. Okay, here goes the big brother. Oh, ho, ho. oh no, he's getting messed up right now. Whoa. Oh, there's family members flying all over the place. Oh, it's a disaster. Mr. Fluffy is too powerful. Where's the dog? Is the dog okay? Uh, yep, dog is fine. Right, who is that over there doing damage? Oh, it's the grandpa. Grandpa is going in. He knows what he's doing. He has experience in taking down dinosaurs, even modified dinosaurs. Oh, okay. Never mind. I think that was him. He went flying. Right, here comes the nephew. Yes, the smartest one of the bunch. Oh, oh, is that the daughter? Yeah, the daughter's still in the fight too. Always the last alive. Come on, daughter. It's down to you now. You got this. Uh, oh, ne never mind. And just like that, Mr. Fluffy is victorious. Barely any health taken from him as well. If you guys thought that was difficult, wait to see your next enemy. It is SpongeBob. <laughs> That's right. Someone has made SpongeBob in Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. He's actually still alive, though. It must be, he killed one of them. What? He's actually killing the family. Is SpongeBob secretly really overpowered or something? Look at him go, though. I mean, to be fair, he is literally made out of metal, as you can see. The only thing that's not armored is the legs there. He's barely taking any damage. Are you kidding me? This is the first time I've seen SpongeBob in this game in action. And it turns out he's actually really powerful. I mean, I guess he is a sponge, right? Oh, Grandpa is now down. I think the dog has unfortunately died too. Come on, big bro. You're the only one capable of taking down SpongeBob, I reckon. You got this, big bro. Come on. Oh, he's dead. Oh, no. Look at the daughter. Oh, she's getting dinked. Oh, no. Well, I just realized I can hear that. The hamster is still alive. No. SpongeBob is coming towards you, hamster. You have to run. No. <laughs> of course, the hamster is actually a boar, but yeah, it's the closest we can get. Oh, that's terrifying. Here comes SpongeBob. Hamster, run. Yeah, get out of there. <laughs> oh, we can't actually reach the... Ah! Oh, he kicked him. Oh, SpongeBob has won.
So, this next creation looks pretty normal, right? Well, you are wrong because it's actually an attack helicopter. So, scattered around the map, we have a bunch of different humans, and we're going to see if we can hunt them down in the helicopter. Start the battle. Here we go. So, of course, it is attached to the dinosaur down there. This is the first time I've seen a creation like this. It's very creative, and it is pretty epic. It's a shame the propellers don't spin, but that's fine. Oh, look, Cowardly Cole. He's got messed up. So yeah, it pretty much means that this dinosaur is invincible. Oh, it's struggling. Oh, never mind. There we go. So yeah, a very powerful unit. Oh no, he's fallen over. Oh, <laughs> it's very strange. It looks odd. Uh, but as you can tell, it is doing the job right now. Okay, there's only one enemy left. And it's Cowardly Cole. You know what? I'll give him a little nudge, all right? Uh, here we go with the camera. <laughs> it's not working. There we go. The helicopter has locked in and he is dead. Now let's try helicopter versus helicopter. I feel like this is going to be a quick battle. Oh, look at that. This one has won. So they do target into the dinosaur below, of course, because it makes more sense. This is just like a floating piece of armor and missiles, really. This next creation is pretty tiny and you can already see them. It is crabs. King Kong is right there. Let's see if he can take them down. So... How this has been made? Wait, did they win? Wow, they actually did it. They took down King Kong and now they're taking him to their lair. But essentially, yeah, they're just ants with armor on top to look like crabs. What about Goru though? Can Goru take down the crabs? Let's find out, shall we? The thing is, because they're so small, it's quite hard to kill them. And they've got quite a lot of tentacles. The tentacles are supposed to be the legs, but yeah, they do damage too. And there we go. Victory to the crabs. We have only one survivor by the looks of it. I reckon one of my creations will do good against the crab. So this is the lava golem, which I turned into a porcupine. This was from one of your suggestions. There we go. Yes, because he rolls like that, it will just kill them instantly. Okay, go for another roll attack. Why is he running away? Where is he going? Is he scared? I think this crab is broken. That's it. Go. No, you missed. Oh, that one just leaped for me. Be careful. Just try not to roll. Oh, oh, he messed that crab up. Nice. That's it. Yes. Love a bit of crab. Cook it up nicely. Oh, no, don't. No, you idiot. You are so close to winning. <laughs> Moving on. I've also downloaded this house right here. So not a creature. And I'm going to see if I can do some survival because over there we have three triceratops. Sis. And uh, let's see if we can survive because this house can actually fall down. All right, we need to get inside. Okay, close the door. We're good. Oh, 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 they broke it down so easily. <laughs> My house. I wasn't expecting them to do that so quickly. Look at the state of this place. Okay, maybe three of them was a little bit too much. Okay, you know what? There's nothing I can do now. It is game over for the first person guy. But don't worry, I've installed a state-of-the-art defenses, so the Triceratops shouldn't be able to get in here. Uh-oh. Okay, it hasn't worked. Oh, my house is destroyed again. I also installed a hut next to it, but that's been destroyed too. It's all up to this right here. Oh, no. I can't even get inside. Oh, the tower is falling down. It's too powerful. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I think it's fair to say my defenses absolutely suck. So I've also gone ahead and downloaded whatever this thing is. So I thought I would download this because I can add stuff to the platform above. I'm thinking maybe we just add some archers to it. In fact, let's just scale them up a little bit. I'm a little bit worried that they won't be able to stay upright in here and they might fall out straight away. And start the battle. Here we go. Oh, no. <laughs> what a disaster. They've all fallen out. There's only, well, there's one left in there. But I don't think he's going to be taking any shots soon because he's actually dead now. So it's all up to the legs to pretty much do all the damage. Whoa. Look at those spin attacks. You know what? Who needs archers anyway? This thing is actually pretty insane. I'm really impressed with this. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to spin like that. Oh, no. It died. No. Okay. We need to add a wall behind them. Make it taller. So they don't fall out straight away. And start. Right, here we go. Yes. They're all still in. That's good. As long as the leg stays alive. Okay, they're all spinning out. I was going to say if it stays alive, they could just shoot down and keep taking them out. But wow, it died a lot quicker that time. So we need something a little bit more stable. We have these old chariot-like car things. And let's see 
if this works we might actually have to add our own platform here let's go to animal gear and then do this they just had tiny little platforms for them to sit on archers now in place and let's start the battle yes there we go that works oh that works really good actually okay actually wait no they've fallen out <laughs> oh no okay might need a slight redesign here this isn't great all the archers have died i had to scale them down quite a lot as well that's why we've got tiny little archers okay so i've made some modifications we have the steel tentacles on the front we also have spikes on the wheels and i've also made it so they won't fall out as much hopefully not anyway so let's start the battle and let's see what happens here shall we here we go archers fire i think some of the arrows are getting stuck on the front there okay this is looking better we have one down so far. Come on, keep firing. Oh, no. Only two remaining. The ancient army, they're too powerful. No. And just like that, we have lost the fight. The modifications were not enough. The last archer is now dead. Next up, we have Mecha Godzilla here. Now, this is the one that is from Ready Player One, and someone has created it in Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. So, we're going up against Mr. Fluffy here. Let's see just how powerful this thing is right here we go oh there goes the machine guns and missiles away mr fluffy is okay no he's dead he died so quickly okay what are the stats on this thing let's check it out hp multiplier 28 attack multiplier 30 has a lot of health as you can see as well okay this thing is a beast so let's try the regular godzilla that i often use the really really powerful creation now because it is fighting mecha godzilla here it means it's going to take a lot of damage from those missiles, I can imagine. The armor probably won't do too much. Okay, let's find out who is stronger, Godzilla or Mecha Godzilla. I mean, this one is a lot larger, but doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be more powerful. Oh, no way! Are you kidding me? We've actually found a creation that is more powerful than Godzilla here. Yes! Mecha Godzilla, you got this! It's definitely to do with those missiles. It has to be. One thing I will say, though, if Godzilla managed to get a swipe on whatever creature is underneath this, it would probably win. I actually don't know what creature it is, to be honest. Who's, who's feet are they? No idea. Unless it's just using dinosaur feet. That's probably what it is. Okay. And Godzilla is down. What about Kong 2021? Here we go. Come on. Oh, he's quick. He's fast. He's making his way over. Come on. Oh, he's dead instantly. Oh, so that's what's underneath. That looks kind of creepy, to be honest. Now, usually the enemy of Kong is the skull crawler here, but they are going to work together today to defeat the common enemy Godzilla. Well, Mecha Godzilla. Okay, skull crawler, do your thing. Attack. Oh. Oh, no. Right, that's it. Ngoru is coming out to play. Come on, just defeat mecha godzilla this could be the first creation to do it come on no oh i think yeah Ngoru, he died first therefore he lost but this is what's underneath mecha godzilla oh man it's kind of weird looking so it really all depends on who fires the missiles first and that defines the winner i guess See, that looked like a tie to me, but we did lose once again. Although, technically, Ngoru is on team two. So would that mean he would have won? Yeah, I guess he I guess he would have. So I do actually want to see these skull crawlers in action here. So let's see if they can take down two T-Rexes. All right, so we've only got one here, but let's see if it's strong enough to take him down. I mean, the model looks good. I have to say, whoever created this, it does look pretty nice, but it is a little bit on the buggy side. Oh, no. T-Rex has a grip of his face. Yeah, I think the Skull Crawler might actually lose this battle right here. Come on. Health-wise, it's not looking good. That T-Rex is only taking a little bit of damage. And there we go. The Skull Crawler is now dead. But on that note, I'm going to end this one right here. There is another video on the top right, so make sure you go ahead and check that out. Also, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll hopefully see you in that video right there. Goodbye!